Sody Pop. Hi everybody, I'm Sody Pop. And I am Pei Lao Shun. And welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, we left yeah. off last time just having finished our first poem. Yeah. We did. We did. And here's Monica. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Hi again, Joshua. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. Oh good, I thought you might have been chased off by whatever else likes to refer to as my creepy laugh. 75% of you guys are hot. <laughs> this might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. To a group of girls where 75% of them are pretty hot. Well, I'm back in the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Joshua. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh come on! Like he deserves any slack. Okay, is it is it that you find her like ugly, or is it that you don't like her attitude? Wow, there's a lot of thought going on right now. <laughs> He's like staring intently at her now, He's, like analyzing every little bit of her. Yes. A little bit of both. Okay, so what don't you like about her physically? I'm curious. Physically? I mean, I know you don't like pink. And then, I, I'm not big into, like, the small framed... <laughs> you know... You like a big pair of, of uh... Shoulders. Yeah, okay. <laughs> No, no. I was trying to like, think of a euphemism and like just nothing was coming. No, for like, for like, like between these two, like Yuri looks better than me. Um. Between like, the two of those, though. Yeah, between these two, Yuri looks better. Where she's got like, she's her hair's better kept. Hers is just kind of messy and all over the place. Um. She's a little bit more humble. Like she's, you can tell she's really smart, she's very analytical, she's very, you know, she's a little more humble about things, whereas Natsuki's, like, in your face and, like, tries to make other people feel bad. Um. Yeah. Alright, there you have it. That answered my question. So which one do you think is the hottest out of them, then? I don't know. <laughs> Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. You fucking loser. I don't know I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you really you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between Monica and Ma stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Joshua always gives his bet gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. He'd make a good husband. Sayori, that's because your room is Marry me. so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> 
You two are really good friends, aren't you? It... I might be... A little jealous I might be. How come? You and Joshua can become good friends, too. Uh, um... Sayori? Hmm. Error 404. <laughs> As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh! Oh! You're even brought... Ooh. Sorry! You're even brought you something today, you know. But wait, wait, Sayori. Me? Uh, um, <laughs> not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N n n n never mind. S Sayori made it sound like a, a big deal when it it's really not. Uh. I do. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Uh, it'll make me happy in the Is that so? Yeah. I'll make it a big deal if you don't want me to. You'll make it a big deal. I won't make it a big deal if you don't want me to. All right. Oh, good. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a boot book. <laughs> a book. Pulls out a book. <laughs> I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Oh, wow, the way you said that meant I'll definitely read this as I stuff it into a wood chipper. Thank you. <laughs> well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Yeah, everyone settled in. I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But this doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging all around the clo in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover. Oh, excuse me, her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Uh. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. Right, because you were just staring. Teenage boys are not subtle. <laughs> oh, she sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. Mm -hmm. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. No matter this sensing, I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It, it, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... 
It's the book you gave me, right? Mm hmm I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any per per particular reason. Just curious. How can you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, uh, that's not what I meant. I, I, I mean... I just happened to buy to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well... Hmm... Here he closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Marco. Back in the day, when the description of the book was on the back, and it was glorious. Instead of, like... Some stupid editor that I really don't care about their opinion. Editors and critics and... No, just tell me what the book's about, and I'll critique it on my own, thank you. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. <sighs> Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But, as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. It's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a Nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are I... you not a fan of that sort of thing, Joshua? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri was into those things. She is so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you, were, you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I I'm, 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 I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. W well, I, I guess it's alright then. But, but I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and, and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So, I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please, stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh, that's... well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading it right... Yeah, reading it, right? Y y you don't have to. 
Ha ha ha! What are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Let me just get the book. Well, I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright. It's fine if I sit here, right? No, that's where Casper sits. I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Get out of here, Casper. But I love him. Ah! Y yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. But that's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. See. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the door and start the, the prologue. Door, huh? The book. And start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I feel. Er. <laughs> it's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. <sighs> Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry. I, I, I was just... Yuri, you apologize a lot, don't you? I... I, I do? I, I, I don't really mean to. Sorry. I, I mean... Ha ha ha. Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it is up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. <sighs> Yuri takes her left hand and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. Or right thumb, sorry. Mm -hmm. That way, I turn the page, and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? Uh? To turn the page? Uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah. That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. That's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. <sighs> Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, 
letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You, you think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. Excuse me, too much wrongs. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I, I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Joshua, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Ugh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait. Yeah, it helps to click inside of the game. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really don't... I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. So let me point it out. You think I'm self-conscious? Yeah. Uh... I, I guess I more meant that it was kind of cute. <laughs> what, what, what are you saying all of a sudden? I... Okay, everyone. Ah! I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long, and I can't allow you two to get any closer. Ah. Uh... Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Ah, uh, it, it, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Ow! Oh, weenie. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer that I only read with you? Uh, um... I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. But you better not move on to the third chapter, or I'll eat your soul! Right, I stand up. Make a mental note of where I left off in the book and then slip that thing right back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? I knew I was forgetting something. Yeah. My relaxation ends. Can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? <gasps> I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf paper, torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Oh, who first? Monika, Yuri, Natsuki, Sayori. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poem yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Mm. Mm. Joshua, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. 
what? You expected me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? Maybe. I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <laughs> Painful to think about? Uh, fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just starting again. Fair enough. Well, teach their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think stupid. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb. Whoa, whoa, that's... Oh, sorry. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race. Owls can fear moving a lot. Sorry. Owls can seek, cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Oh, okay, sorry. Yes. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. I don't wanna hear your bullshit lies. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. Isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes! Exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but, like, it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out all of the feeling in that last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. You would have just chewed her up and spat her out in high school. Oh? You weren't known for being, like, gentle or giving. <laughs> oh? Between you, your sister, and the high school friends of yours that I know, you didn't put up with people's, like, anything. Maybe so. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is. But if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. <sighs> Next! Hi, Joshua. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. Uh, I was gonna point out that you were bleeding, but then I wasn't sure if it was blood or a scab. By the way, since you're new and everything, would you like a tissue? Sure. Yeah, give me a moment. Oh. Since you're new and everything... Quetcha! If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better... I'm always listening. Always listening. Like when you jacked off to that slap last night. What? What? 
Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Okay. I know you were talking, thinking about her hot tits. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. You only like her because there are a bit there's bigger than mine. <laughs> of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? Mm, I guess. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Joshua. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Soon. Yeah, it's true. I hand Monica my phone. Mm-hmm. Great job, Joshua. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it's a, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Are you fucking her? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. Why would I be interested in her? Don't worry so much about that. You did not read that at all. You... Okay. I'm sure I'm nowhere near that the That was kind yet. of great. I, ne I was like, I never really asked, though. And you had just the most glazed over expression on your face, and you were just like, click. <laughs> Like, you are not taking in any of this. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing with me. Just keep exploring and keep learn by trying new things with me. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. So long as it's with me, that's fine. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing it. That's okay. Everyone feels a little nervous while doing trying kinky stuff for the first time. <laughs> I'd love to see you try new things. Yeah. It's because of the surface. Mm -hmm. Here, try putting it up there. There, there you go. go. That's the best way to find the best. That's the best way to find the kind of writing. The oh man, I can not read apparently. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find this, what suits you the most, because I'm the only one who really loves you here. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha 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 Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. 
that doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Oh, it's easy. Hole, Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll let, never know. I wasn't home, so I didn't have to deal with the awful noise that comes with that. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, they've been poked by it. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. Much like Ohem. <laughs> a hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the like inspiration the dark side of the force. behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem, or a story, your brain gets too fixated gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard that to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy up, up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big, dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Next! Hmm. Cause it's getting hard for me to read because I'm like dozing. No! I think I'm probably gonna save and call it. No, you gotta finish this! Oh, come on. No. So... No. Yes. No. Yes. You have to get through this and get to the, the, the next poem. You don't have to do the next poem, but we have to get to there. As you read my poem, I noticed her eyes licked and... Exceptional. Uh, what was that? Huh? D did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth and then ends up covering her whole face. I. Uh, he's going to hate me. Um. You know, I can still hear you, right? <laughs> you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Huh? That's. I. I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So. What kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Well, it's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? You're staring at me blankly and then looks at my poem again. Well, I, I know that. 
I just meant. Um. Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem as if breaking it down before, more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. When Sherry finds her train of thought, it is as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many di different skills and techniques that go into writing even a, di a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Not Siki can be a little biased, though. Biased how? Um. Well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please, do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature book? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, fading. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Uh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh... Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Uh-huh. That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Joshua. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. 
that's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Huh? It, it's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn to... Or learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. You know... I was really nervous about doing all of this. But, in the end, I enjoyed it. Good. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Joshua. Uh... Me too? <laughs> you got this, babe. This is a good poem, Joshua. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Oh no, it looks amazing. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. Uh -huh. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in class in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Joshua. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thank you, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my note here. Then See. again... I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined, knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah! And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. That's you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you blow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret that I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad, I want breakfast. Oh, I forget to click on Sayori. Sayori, mm -hmm. this is just a guess, but mm -hmm. did you wait until this morning to write this? No, just, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. Sure I can. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel better, a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds like sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last time, that last line. I made eggs and toast! Um, even though you were late for school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this 
was so much fun. Monica is the best. Oh, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. I guess that's everyone. Glance around the room. It was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. Sigh. I guess that's why I ended up game myself. Into? Into, across... Would you like me to read this? Maybe. Across the room, Sayora and Monica are happy... Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dim dismissively returns the paper- <laughs> Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy? Huh. Thanks. Yours is... cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? Uh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple of a couple of suggestions. Huh. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Like, Sayori liked it, and Joshua did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Joshua liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that's not what I... Uh, you, you're you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Joshua appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Uh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Joshua started showing up. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I, I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly, both girls turned, to turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Joshua, she she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the 
point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force him to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Joshua! Wait! There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Joshua? Um... Well... Are you reading again? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course it's going to be... Natsuki. Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turn to Yuri. Yuri. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! <laughs> yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Joshua! Don't fucking drag me into this. You son of a bitch. Well... <laughs> That's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict, even though that's just what we asked you to do. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! Natsuki! Yuri! You guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So, why are we fighting? Be because... Well, well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I, I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president, I whisper to Monica. She knows in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well... I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You can say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. You're making me yawn! I'm sorry. Ah, I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smells sweet at me, causing my stomach to smell. Such a genuine person really does have a good. Make a good president. Doesn't make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. 
<laughs> okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Except for, you know, when you had a cat fight, but whatever. Joshua, how about you? <clears throat> yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job of pressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Joshua! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori? How about what happened earlier? Eh? Huh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that! I promise, they're both wonderful people! You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd be good friends with you. Oh. You know, Joshua, it's nice that I get to spend with time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun! Sigh. Looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay! Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, you can save it. Sorry, guys. I think you actually did fall asleep there for at least a moment or two. It's very likely. Alright, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button. If that was my dad fell asleep, hit the like button. <laughs> um... If you want to know when the next videos are coming out, go ahead and give, it a, give our channel a subscribe so you are the first to know about it. Mm. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. On Doki Doki Literature Club. Bye bye. Bye.